Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Today I'll do an as quick of a tutorial as possible on Process Lasso. Now if you're wondering why AMD Ryzen Master is also over here on the left side, is because it's a tool that kind of runs hand in hand with Process Lasso and it will be great for you to just have both at your disposal. Now mind you, I have a negative 30 undervolt on my first cores and negative 10 undervolt on my last four from CCD. Zero, which is the 3D cache CCD. What I'm doing with Process Lasso is essentially setting background tasks to the frequency CCD only. Now you could theoretically go further into it and set the 3D, the 3D cache CCD to only work with games by setting your preferred uh, CCD to frequency and then going to Process Lasso and setting your game to use only the 3D cache. But I had some issues with that that I still have to refine before I could post a video confirming that that also works. So today's video is simple. I set my BIOS to prefer cache within the CBS AMD options, SMU common options in CPPC dynamic preferred cores. That's exactly how you'll have to do it. I'll put up a thing on screen to show you exactly how to get to that to set the preferred cache within BIOS. And then to set up process lasso, all you're going to need to do is Google process lasso, go to Bitsum, download it. And once it opens up, you're going to have this gigantic screen full of information that's going to instantly overwhelm you. Let me simplify things as much as I can. You see this Mobi Systems update.exe? It's a casual background task. I'm going to right click on it, go to CPU Affinity, click Always. Make sure you always go to Always and don't go to Current. Click Always and select CPU Affinity. You want this to run as, uh, as a background task on your 7950X3D? All you have to do is untick these boxes. By default, they will come ticked. So by default, this is how yours is going to look. What you're going to have to do is just click each and every one of these first 16 boxes. So they're not ticked anymore. And now, boom shakalaka, it's running only on CCD2, which is, well, CCD1, the second CCD, which is the frequency CCD. And suddenly, this background app is now optimized because it's not bottlenecking your main gaming 3D cache CCD anymore. Now, the painful part comes right now. You're going to have to do this for every single background task that you have. Mind you, it is definitely not worth doing it for all of these tasks because then you'd be sitting here the whole day just clicking, clicking, clicking away. So my recommendation is go through the list of things you have. Take things like MSI Afterburner, your ASRock Polychrome RGB or any RGB that you have. Put those on the frequency CCD and then leave everything else to just auto default and set itself because otherwise you're spending the whole day in process less and you don't want to do that. I do recommend you put things like the NVIDIA display container and any Razer Synapse, even audio stuff can be put on the frequency CCD and you wouldn't have any issues. If you want me to go directly through everything that I've set, I can just slowly scroll through this and you guys can copy paste whatever you can copy paste. But remember, you won't have the same apps that I have. So it won't actually work the same way. As you can see, I'm just slowly scrolling. Team Viewer also works. Process Lasso itself, you can set to run off the second CCD, which is important. This Process Lasso itself uses quite a bit of CPU while you're gaming. So it's good to set that to the frequency CCD. And um, otherwise, just go through things. Uh, the Search Indexer, you can set to the second CCD, so 16 through 31. But make sure you don't set things like Battle.net or Steam to the second CCD because it might inadvertently force things like the games you're playing onto that second CCD instead of, you know, considering Battle.net, for example, as a background task. It will um, consider Call of Duty as a background task together with Battle.net. And I'm using that just as an example. So don't set Steam and Battle.net unless, you know, you want uh, to preset all of the games on Battle.net to run on a certain CCD, which you could do. And then you would just have to click on it Go to CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity and untick all of these boxes so it would only run on the 3D cache CCD. And that is how you do it the other way around for the 7950X3D. Now, that pretty much sums up Process Lasso without eating into your brain with complicated shit. The reason I didn't really go into much explanation about why to do what is because it's a painstaking task to learn how to use Process Lasso to its fullest potential. You could theoretically also mess with priority class, but honestly, for the average user, it's a complete waste of time. 
Unless you're a nerd that absolutely loves optimizing every single bit of their computer like me, you would never touch this. And even I am barely messing with this because it, it just seemed like a waste of time. It made no in-game difference to me. And uh, I personally don't see it valuable if it doesn't actually help performance. So I don't recommend it to you guys. Now, I do recommend you then go into AMD Ryzen Master and you check to see which of your best cores are showing to be, well, the fastest. For me, it's Core 1 and Core 5. Now, another optimization you could do together with Process Lasso and AMD Ryzen Master is undervolt your two fastest cores the most. Make sure they're being, uh, they're being used with Process Lasso, so set your game to always use those two fastest cores. And uh, essentially, you don't, don't need to count on simultaneous multi-threading doing the job for you. Now, I'm leaving it as is because, yet again, it's complicated, but I'm giving it to you guys as an option that you can theoretically open up Call of Duty. Let's say you go into Battle.net over here, go to CPU Affinity and Always, and then select CPU Affinity. And what you're going to do is you're going to select the exact thread count. So let's say you have seven threads. You're going to untick everything. And then you're going to select your fastest uh, CPU cores. And then based on usage with, uh, with simultaneous multi-threading, you're going to have only those seven cores for Call of Duty. Let's just assume, you know, these are my uh, seven fastest threads. Sorry, not cores. You would have only these reserved for Call of Duty. And it would never be able to go on these that, let's say, are slower. Yet again, just an example. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's an option to make sure that you're using your fastest cores. Now, you might have noticed that I didn't actually do that to my own computer. And the reason is because I'm still messing with undervolts. Before I'm going to start optimizing to like such a great extent with Process Lasso, I want to make sure that my BIOS settings are fully finished and I'm done with them and I'm not changing them any anymore because if I change something here and suddenly my undervolts aren't the same way, then I'll probably have to change things in Process Lasso too. So I'm going to finish with this and then I'll do that most likely and see if that helps performance improve. But the biggest thing you're going to notice with Process Lasso is that your 1% lows will improve. By how much? I couldn't tell you. It, it's going to vary from computer to computer, to be honest with you, because some people will literally have nearly no background tasks, while some will have a hundred things open in the background. And that right there will make the entire difference. I have a couple things open in the background, as you can see, including Discord, and it already makes a slight difference. But let's say you have doubled the amount of things open in the background, Process Lasso will literally save your computer's 1% lows, so I highly recommend it. I hope this short video of Process Lasso was really helpful and I hope I didn't overcomplicate things. I in fact had to do this three times, well three total takes, to simplify things as much as I could so you guys could understand it without getting, well, a brain seizure because the Process Lasso has a whole lot of things you can change in it that really don't do a lot. So, what I told you is simple. Set things to 16 to 31 that you want to run in the background. Mind you, this is on a 7950X3D, it has 32 threads. And then everything else that is supposed to be the 3D intensive task that you want the maximum performance out of will be 0 to 15. Now, you don't actually have to do that because you will go into the BIOS and set it to prefer cache, which means that it's going to run most of the applications that are intensive with the cache CCD automatically. So you don't have to do it within Process Lasso. Might I remind you, there's the other option of run it on prefer frequency and then set the games to prefer cache within Process Lasso. I'll test that too and I'll let you know in the comment section if it's worth it because I haven't had the chance to fully experiment with that yet. But with that said, this works perfectly and if you guys want to copy my exact things, I already scrolled through them so just pause at the exact moment and you should be able to copy them one for one pretty much without having any issues. With that said guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one and peace.